welcome to Silhouette Boot Camp. It's Emily with the Painting Mama. We are on lesson 11. Can you believe it? Silhouette Boot Camp is filled with mini lessons that help us learn the terminology used in Silhouette Studio so that we can design anything we dream up that we wish to make. Um, today we're going to talk about scale and shear. This lesson is very short and sweet. It's kind of a simple one, but it's a useful tool. Or there's two features, scale and shear. So first we'll start with scale. And scale really is just to adjust the size um, to the correct size that you want and shape that you desire. So what I did here is I have a little de uh, design of a jet that I pulled from the store. And then I wrote my son's name, Levi. And what I want is I want Levi's name to be the exact dimensions of 2.5 by 3.5 to fit inside this jet. I'm going to make a little thing for his bedroom. Um, and scale is super useful when you want to choose the exact size of something. So let me show you where to find this feature and to scale it to the exact size. You go over here to these three rectangles in a line and find the arrow. And right here it says scale. And what you do is right here in specify dimensions, I'm going to specify 3.5 by 2.5. And I want it those exact dimensions. And I'm going to put apply. What that does is it makes it the exact dimensions that I asked for. And now I can just move my name down here and put it on top. And it's the, it's the exact dimensions that I asked for. If I wanted to do the exact dimensions of a di uh, the, the jet, say I you know, measured the frame or measured where I wanted it on the wall, you just come over here to specify dimensions and you do it right here. So that's kind of a quick way of showing you scale. You can also do scale by just pulling these lines in and out. But I really like to use the specify dimensions when I'm looking for an exact dimension for something to go on my project. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do shear. And shear is to slant or bend an object to fit better with your design. Um, it also is great when you're wanting to make your font, a normal font, look italicized. So my picture here shows a uh, Horizontal, what I did is I grabbed just a normal rectangle and then I sheared it horizontally and then I sheared it vertically. So you can kind of see where a horizontal pulls it outwards and vertical pulls it up. So let me show you why this would be useful um, as something, just kind of a way you could use it in a design. So we're going to do right here in dance. So I want to make this cute little dance thing for my little girl's room. I'm going to put it in a frame, but I want dance to be on the shoe. So what I want to do here is I'm going to take the, this over here, put it on top, and transform is, or transform, shear is found in this transform area, the same place you found scale, but when you get when you click on it, you you want to go to this rectangle that's kind of slanted. And what I want to do is I'm going to select the oh I got a highlight dance, and then select the way you want it to go. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna turn it. And then just select the best one that you feel will work. Just kind of play around with it and how you want it. Or you could do it this way and do a vertical shear and go, I probably need to go this way. That would be better. Yeah. 
So you just kind of play around with it how you want to get it to fit in your design. Make it smaller or bigger. You can do it down here or up there. And then just kind of make it to where you want it um, in your design. I just kind of, you just play around. Do you want it a horizontal, a vertical? I was just kind of playing around with it to see which, which looks the best. Um, I also, I did it for dance, and then I also did it in this pineapple. I just took a pineapple design, um, wrote summer, and then sheared it to make this look a little more italicized and a little slanted to the side. So um, another way you can shear something, let me just, let me just pull this down here, is you can also go over here to show sheer high here and then it gives you these little bands and you can shear it yourself in whatever way you want it you can instead of just using the 30 the 15 the 0 you can make it custom the way you want it so you can make your own custom shear too so that's another way of shearing an object is if you click the show shear handles um, it gives you these little slider bars and you can do it whichever way you want um, and if you don't want to use these ones, these ones that are already made for you. So that is a quick way of showing you sheer. Um, it's great when you want, like I said, when you want fonts to look italicized, you could make a zigzag line if you um, wanted to make a zigzag line just using um, rectangles and do zigzag back and forth all the way do a um, you could do a um, chevron across your paper if you want to really shear it and chevron it just mirror just do every other you know up one way and then duplicate it the other way you could do a zigzag a chevron pattern you can do a lot of fun things with the shear just changing the size of your object and then of course changing just a little bit in what your font looks like um, to make it fit into your pattern, how I did for the dance. I'll show you it all done. Right there. So here's here's what I the end of the ballet slippers with the dance across it using sheer. And that's all I have for you guys. It was kind of a quick lesson. Thanks for listening and make sure you tune, tune in next week for lesson 12. Thanks guys.